opportunity to have a, a preview of what I'm thinking about saying tomorrow in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. And then you people can maybe critique it. Tell me if I should add anything or cut anything. I've already had some very good comments. I one fellow said to keep it short. <laughs> so I'm going to follow that direction. Another young lady asked me, said, let me hear the first set. I said, okay, I said, 87 years ago. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. She said, why don't you use four score and seven? I thought, well, that's a good idea. I think I'll do that. So what you're going to hear now is what I intend to say tomorrow at the dedication of the cemetery in Gettysburg. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for all those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate it. We cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it. Far above our poor power to add or detract 
the world will little note and long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, we dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is for us rather to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Thank you. Thank you. Bye,